Oh no. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's Patricia. I'm a Canadian traveling Southeast Asia at the moment. I am in Thailand in Chiang Mai. So this is the second place that I'm staying at. I have been here for over a week and early January I also came to Chiang Mai as well. So I am here again just doing more long-term stays than before. So I just wanted to show you guys the new hostel that I'm at. I ended up paying around around I think six or seven dollars a night Canadian and I'm in a mixed dorm room no one's currently in here so that's why I'm recording and they have a cafe downstairs they don't provide you with towels you have to pay to rent them out but you don't get the money back so just debating about what I should do there that's why if you are traveling or backpacking anywhere I suggest you get a microfiber towel that way if you're in a situation like this. But yeah, I'll show you the room tour. Pretty much like the basic, normal, hostel style rooms. These are the bunks. I usually prefer the bottom bunk just cause you know, who wants to walk up this in the middle of the night? Not really, not me at, at least. Maybe when I was 20 again, but not anymore. But yeah, so they have little lockers. Um, this is the door, aircon, which is amazing. Little lockers here if you want to put some of your stuff in there to keep it safe. And I usually carry a lock, padlock, so this is all locked up. And that is all locked up, so yeah. But yeah, this is my bunk and everything. I kind of lay everything out. Um, of course, some of that is getting put away later. That is the room tour. I do probably plan to possibly do another excursion or tour here. Just not sure which day. Just got over, well, I'm not really over, from the bacterial infection from my hospital visit. If you guys know, you know, I was not feeling well at all for like a week and yeah, I still somewhat have a weak stomach and somewhat feel kind of off. So just gonna probably rest up here for a few days. I booked this for about a week. So hopefully it's to my standards. <laughs> But I mean, if anything, I can always leave and book somewhere else or even go back to the place I was at before, which if you would have saw in the other video, that's where I stayed. So it's kind of a different environment here compared to there, but we'll see how that is. And I'm just preparing, I guess, for my next destination. I will be leaving Thailand within a few weeks here. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It will really help me out a lot. And if you have any comments or questions about any of this stuff or even just questions about traveling in general around Southeast Asia leave them in the comment section below this week I guess I try I'll try to check out some more cafes for you guys and kind of just go around Chiang Mai and yeah I'll show you what I'm up to bombastic side eye headed to the Friday walking street it's on every Friday from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. People sell food, different types of souvenirs, and different types of art is displayed around the walking street. We were getting set up when I was walking around here. Right by the walking street, they have the Lana Square Chiang Mai Market. They have live music and lots and lots of different types of foods to eat. Hey everyone, so yeah, I didn't really expect to go into that cafe. It's literally down the street from my hostel. It's honestly very, very cool in there. I'll just show you the coffee experience that I just had. It honestly was really, really cool. I've never seen anything like it, to be honest. And very, very modern in there. The prices for 
Chiang Mai are a little bit higher for coffee, but I think it's just because of the experience that they're giving you. But yeah, take a look. As some of you might even know, Chiang Mai is known for a lot of different types of cafes. They have really, really, really cool cafes here. Lots of different like even cat cafes and also just lots of co-working spaces as well. I still yet have to try the coffee at my hostel because um, they have a really nice cafe as well. Very aesthetically pleasing. I'll leave all of the cafe names down in the description. That way if you guys do come here, you can check it out. So within the cafe, they do offer private rooms there. But yeah, mostly sometimes a lot of these places are cafes and then they have hostels or rooms to rent. So it's very accessible to get your morning coffee and a very good concept in my opinion. Okay guys, so here at the Central Festival Shopping Center, just a random trip that I decided to go come here. So. A girl from my other hostel recommended me to come here, so I am here. And yeah, I had nothing to do today, so here I am. So let's go check it out. In this mall they have your normal like basic stores that like Zara, H&M, all of that and then they also have like little boutiques in the middle of the mall that you know they're, they're local so you can shop there but sizes are very limited more petite most <laughs> most people in Asia are very petite for me I'm considered like medium size maybe a little bit larger compared to like the girls here so it's hard for me to buy clothes um, I would prefer to buy stuff that I can't purchase back home. It depends on the place and what they have in stock. So yeah, just kind of an insight here. So pretty much everything in that Zara is the same, I guess, in Canada and North America. I usually try and find stuff that is a little bit different, but um, even when I was in Singapore and Malaysia, pretty much all of the same stuff. Obviously new arrivals as well there, but yeah, I didn't really see anything and the prices are pretty much the same as back home in North America. Sorry about the noise in the background. Again, I don't have an external mic. But I've been here for about eight, maybe nine days now. About a week, eight days. And it was burning season, still is burning season. It poured rain last night, so the air quality, you can really tell the difference when it rains here. To be honest, it's not that bad where you can taste the smoke or anything. The clouds and the sky are just gray. So that's, I guess, an update about burning season. I don't really know much information other than, you know, what I've been experiencing. I wouldn't be scared to come here during burning season. A lot of people avoid it, but if you are trying to save a dollar, oh, oh, almost walked into a tree. Or if you're trying to save a buck, I would maybe come during this time, which would be February, March, because a lot of people don't really come here during those months and a lot of stuff is available. So if that's something that you're into, it's not too bad, especially if you're from a polluted city, it's not much different. And I, I would say like Bangkok is very similar to this anyways. I should also update you guys on my 
we'll say bacterial stomach infection. I'm feeling better today, you know, just made sure I've rested this morning. And now I'm here just hanging out outside. Yeah, it hasn't been the best feeling when you get like a stomach infection, especially from the food that you are eating, you know. And you know, I've been trying, last night for dinner I went to the, ooh, that hummus place. I forget, what, the Mediterranean. Uh, Mediterranean food last night was amazing. So that definitely helped, but um, my stomach is definitely more sensitive to Thai food now. So I'll be mixing it up here and there. There's the update on that. Oh, oh my gosh. It was three people on one scooter and then someone's leg is like hanging off the back. <laughs> That's what that was. Yes, I'll let you guys go. Thanks so much if you... Oh no. My... My Yakult fell into here and it's going away now. Anyways, <laughs> what I was saying is if you guys watched it to the end of this video, thank you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you guys in the next video.